Appify have finally done it. They've released their very own native NA10 node so that we can scrape lots and lots of data in the easiest way possible using the direct connector. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how we can set this up to use NA10 and Appify incredibly easily. We're going to scrape some data using Apollo to do some lead enrichment and just to show you how to get it all set up. We're going to be able to use both the automatic run actor within this scenario as well as be able to trigger different workflows when scraping or different actors have finished and we're going to be able to pull through all of that data straight into our environment to be able to use it. So why is this so important? Well Appify is one of the leading platforms out there that's able to go through and scrape lots of data for us. They've got lots of different what they call actors ready to go, i.e. different scrapers that themselves or the community have built out to be able to gather the information that we need incredibly cheaply or cost efficiently. We're going to show you that a little bit later on, exactly how it can work and why this is so different to the previous ways of working. If you want to check out all of the documentation, come across to NA10. You can come down to where they've got what can you do with Appify on the page. I'll include it below so you can find it nice and easy. As you can see, we're able to run actors, scrape single URLs, get last run item, run task, run actors, data sets, whatever we need. It's nice and easy. Now with this node ready to go in NA10. So to access it, all you need to do is come through to a new workflow in NA10. In this case, we're going to start with a manual trigger just to be able to send off our request. Once we've done this, we're going to add another node and we're simply going to type Appify. What you'll see in the top right hand corner here is that official node opening up. We know it's an official node because we've got that tick next to it. And if you hover over the top, it says official node maintained by Appify. It's an authorized community additional node that's been added on. We can do Appify. And as you can see here, to be able to run all of these different elements, we need to install the node. All you do is simply press install node. The rest will be done for you all automatically and seamlessly. Once this is installed, as you can see there, so quick, we now know that new node package version is available. Now, you will need to maintain this yourself as well, sometimes to update it. To find it, make sure to come down to your account into the settings. You'll find that you've got community nodes in here. And as you can see up the top, we've got Appify forward slash NA10 nodes Appify. You can also see that there's a newer version available. So all we're going to do is press confirm update. And as you can see here, it's going to add in the new latest version. In this case, it's version 0.6. Again, we're going to come back across to our environment and come back in here and type Appify. And now, as you can see, it's all installed, all ready to go. And we've got all of the information for us to be able to use it. As you can see, it's only been downloaded 2,000 times at the moment, which I find staggering for how many people use Appify. So let's go through and see how it works. So first things first, we've got a couple of different ones. Now, an actor is basically a task that you can get to scrape it to complete. So for example, if we come across to Appify, we log into our console. Now, the way the billing works for this is, for example, if you start with that $39 per month, each activity, each, each execution will basically go up to that $39. So think of it as you've got a bucket and every time you do a request, you fill up that bucket a little bit more and more and more until you've got to that $39 per month. Once you've come into your account, it's going to look something like this. To find all of the different scrapers available, come across to the Appify store. I'm going to show you how to scrape some leads with Apollo today, but if you want to see lots of different ones, you can press view all. You'll see here that they've got lots and lots of different categories, different pricing models, different developers, and we can sort by most relevant. So for example here, if I refilter it to popular, as you can see, they've got a couple of different options. Let me know in the comments below 
if there's anything in particular you want to see. But as mentioned, we're focusing on how to use the scraper today. So we're going to come back and choose the scraper up to 50,000 leads. Now, this is a community actor. So what it means is this individual here, Code Pioneer, is the one that maintains it and is responsible for it. This is not something owned or maintained by Appify. It's going to cost us $1.20 per thousand leads that we extract. What we can see up the top here is the URL. So there's lots of information here. This long gobbledygook of information there is basically the key parts that we need because this is the actor ID. So now if we come back across to NA10 and we say run an actor and get data set, what this means is it's going to go off, complete the task and give us the data back. So what we can do is run and get data. We can add our credentials. So we'll come through. We're going to do an API key or OAuth. It's totally up to you which ones you want. For example, if we come through and do API key, all you need to do is come back across to your account, down to the settings, open it up in a new tab, and you'll find APIs and integrations. We're going to do a new token here, and I'm just going to call it Appify NA10 node, and then demo. demo. We'll do create, and it's going to set it up for us. Now I'll come down, copy this, come back across to NA10 and paste in here. We can save and it should all go green, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner there, saying that it's all successfully added. We'll come out of here and now we've got our account all ready to go. As mentioned, we're going to be running that actor to be able to go off and complete the task for us. We're saying run an actor and get the data set, i.e. go off, complete the task, and return the output that we're looking for. What we can see is some of the recently used actors. And if we scroll down here, as we can see, we've got all of the different ones that I've been using recently. So it's even easier than ever to find that specific actor that you were looking for. For example, if I just do Apollo, what you'll be able to see here is we just plug it in nice and easily straight away. Now, we are still going to have to add our input JSON there. So I'm going to come back across. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We've got lots of videos around AI and automation. If you want to take your learning to the next level, make sure to check out our community. We've got lots of content in there that relates to how to get the most out of NA10 and other products as well, as well as masterclasses, resources, and everything you need to get started on your AI journey. To Appify, across to the JSON of that specific request, and as you can see here, if you've made some changes on this stage, so for example, I only want to be charged for 500 leads, we're only going to extract 500 leads, and we've got a specific URL, that's the request we're going to do. For now, I'm going to copy that JSON body request, come back across to NA10, and paste in here. Now, what this is going to do is this JSON body is telling the actor what the information is that we're trying to extract. So for example, if we come back and we look at something like the Instagram scraper, this is going to have a different JSON body request because we're looking to extract different information. So as you can see here, we can add different URLs and we can add hold in there for now, for example. We can see that we've got different pages, scrape inquiries, and all of this information. Now, if you come across to the JSON body, we've got a different JSON body that we would need to paste into this part here to be able to execute the information. Now, in this use case, we're going to be scraping those 500 leads. So we're going to need to make sure that we've got an up-to-date URL to do that. So I'm going to come across to Apollo.io, which is one of the leading platforms out there to be able to get lead in rich data for us to be able to contact. Once you've logged into an account, you can do this totally for free with Appify at the moment. You want to come down to the people. This is going to give you the option to go through and pre-filter lots and lots of different settings. So for example, say we're selling a voice AI solution that can answer phone calls, send text messages and stuff like that. We'd be looking for the different job titles, maybe customer service, owner, founder, head of the head of customer service, stuff like that. 
We're targeting companies between 21 and 1,000 employees. And you can go through and add some different sections in there if you want to. In this case, we've got 2.6 thousand leads that we're able to extract. Now, we're going to copy the URL from up the top, which has got all of the information around the filters that we've added to get that specific data set. We're now going to come back across to NA10 and we're going to paste in here that URL. We're going to keep everything as standard for now, but you can add some timeout, i.e. how many seconds it's going to wait before giving up on that request, how much memory you need to execute that process, as well as any tags you want to associate with it. We're going to do execute step. Now, why is this so great? Well, previously, what we used to have to do is come across to the Appify documentation for being able to run an actor synchronously and get the data items back. We used to have to copy such as these, copy, for example, here, come back across to NA10, add a new HTTP request node, import the curl into there, go through and manually update actor IDs, our authentication token, all of the JSON requests that we were sending through. So now this makes it so much easier to be able to come into one node see exactly what's happening because it's got that Appify colors to see it really easily. And we can add all of the different here or again, simple thing, but nice and easy to find all of those scrapers that we've used in the past and add them in here. We can do save and we'll just wait for this request to come back. And if you want to check the status, all you need to do is come back across to Appify into the runs on that specific actor and you'll be able to see here, it's currently been running for 1 minute and 30 seconds. And its results, or there you go, for you being charged around 50p, 50 cents to be able to get the output. So we're almost done. So I'm going to come back across to NA10. And as we can see here, any second now. So there we go. We've just got all of the results back. And as you can see on the right hand side here, we've got lots and lots of information that we'd be able to use to personalize a sales request to them. Make sure to check out my other video, which goes into a lot more details on exactly how you can do that. We're going to come out of here and now we can do something like Google and then sheet, Google sheets. We can say append row in a sheet, which is add another row to a sheet. We're going to connect in here. I'll include the documentation below so you can go and set this up nice and easily because again, we're focusing on how to connect Appify today. We're going to choose a document. So in this case, we're called Appify. So there we go. We'll choose our document. Now, as you can see here, we can do sheet one. And at the moment, it's completely empty. We've got nothing in there. So if we want to come back across, what we can do is manually each, or we can do map automatically. This will go through for the first time and automatically create all of the headers. Today, what we're going to do is come through and just execute this step. So you can see that we're going to start adding in lots of information into here. So as you can see, starting off with all of the titles from the data that we've extracted. And now we'll be able to go through and add 500 different rows, like you can see here, all seamlessly. So I'm just going to come down and format all of these. So we'll put them into the row height of. Now you can see we've got all of the different email addresses. We've got names, titles, LinkedIn's. We've got the number of employees that potentially work for them, the organization data. We can scrape lots and lots of data. And again, I've got lots of other videos on the channel that cover exactly how to do that. And if we come back across to NA10, as mentioned, Appify have got lots and lots of other triggers. So for example, here, if you want it to be the on a new Appify event, so for example, say that we're running an actor every single day, but it takes quite a while to get the output and it times out in NA10, we be able to check every time we get a successful request, we're going to go through and add it into our database. Or if you're doing this as maybe a managed service, and you've got different actors set up for different clients, you could track their usage by using this as well. Or for example, if you wanted to come in here and do Appify again, you'd be able to go through and get data set items. So if I come through and add this in as actually a new node in here, what I'm going to do is come back to one of the previous scrapes we did, 
we're going to be able to see again we've got lots and lots of information in here but if i come across to storage we see that data set id if i copy this come back across into na10 open this up and insert the data set id execute this step what we should see is it's able to recall those 50 different items from a different request that we did earlier on so now we can go through scrape lots of data from the real time maybe use some historic data sets to compare the difference between the two or merge them together whatever you needed this will give you a great opportunity to recall the data as you need it so as mentioned there's lots and lots of different nodes that you can use in na10 make sure to check it out there's lots of resources in our community below stay tuned for more around ai automation and have a great day <music>